Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one interesting integration between API Gateway and Lambda, okay? So already in my previous video, I have discussed several concepts related to API Gateway and other AWS service integration from scratch, right? If you want to know those detailed explanation, you can go through the link given in the description box, okay? So let's see how we can integrate API Gateway and Lambda in a special case okay and that special case is our api which we are basically going to create using api gateway that is basically placed in one account a that is created in one account a and our lambda which is our back end is sitting in another account account b okay and then how we can integrate that as soon as someone will hit that api the back end lambda from another account will be triggered how to do that that's what i am going to cover in this video okay so what we will do we will basically create our api gateway in this account as you can see this currently i am in my root account shuffle through and here in incognito mode i have opened another account within an account 2 okay so in account 2 i will be creating my lambda function okay and in original account i will be creating my api using api gateway right so i will go to create function i can give the name demo cross account connection api okay right python language i use i'll choose 3.9 and here i will create the function okay so here our lambda has some default code i will remove all this code just i will keep it very simple hello from account 2 okay right that's what we want to return okay so here our lambda is deployed which is written in python right and now here what I will do, I will close this one and I will go to this account and in this original account, I will go to API gateway section and I will be basically creating a simple API with get method, okay. So I will use this rest API and I will click on build, okay. New API I want to create, API name, demo cross account connection, some name I am giving, I will go to create API, right. And then here what I will do first, I will maybe creating a resource, okay. So resource path I can give demo get, okay, because I want to create get method. And here I will create the resource, right. And then here I will create the method under this particular resource path. Maybe get method I want to do and I will just check this one, okay. Till now whatever we did earlier, that one only we are following, okay. Now here in another account our lambda is sitting where in North Virginia US is one okay with this lambda and that accounts API we need to create the connection okay so this for this lambda the unique identifier is this function arn so I will copy that one and here I will paste the lambda function okay right and then here I will click on save as soon as I am clicking on save this particular message is coming you have selected a lambda function from another account please ensure that you have appropriate function policy on the function okay and you can do this by running the following aws cli so we have to make sure that in that lambda some permissions are there and that how we can assign we can assign using this particular code so i will just keep a note of the code in my notepad and i will click on ok and then here i will click on save okay it is automatically saved and here see this is the flow so here this lambda is getting triggered right and now here what we will do we will deploy this api so I will go to new stage, stage name is Dave I am giving and then here I will do, okay. So this is our invoke URL, I will copy this one, I will go to postman and here I will open this in a new tab, get request and I have to give the resource path also. So here I will go to this section and the resource path name is demo get, right. So here I will go and I will paste this one. Let's see whether we can make a request on it, okay. So here's the internal server error we are getting. So that means this lambda is not reachable yet. Okay, let's refresh this particular lambda in another account that is account 2 and let's see the status. Okay, currently trigger itself is not added. Why? Because we have to execute this piece of code what we have not done yet. Okay, for this account 2. Okay, and now how we can run the AWS CLI code to give the proper permission to lambda? Obviously, simple approaches we can launch an EC2 instance in the second account and we can execute that AWS CLI code 
to give the proper permission to the lambda which is present in our account page okay so here i will go to ec2 and i will be launching a simple instance okay so here i will go to launch instance i will go to older version only and i will go to select right and then here i will select the micro instance only because just only one code i want to execute that's it so everything i am keeping as free tier eligible stuff and then here i will launch with an existing key pair okay and then here i have launched it okay till then what i will do once we launch and enter in the ec2 instance we have to do aws configure so for that i will give security credentials for my root account because just for demo purpose i am showing otherwise obviously you can give or execute the codes using iam based policies from ec2 to lambda that is also possible but uh, here i am just showing demo i will do it simple so here i will open the access key and secret key so this is the one i will use that and by this time my ec2 instance is running i will just copy this particular dns and here what i will do i will go to putty okay i will paste this dns and here i will select my key what we are using for ec2 okay and the default user id for this is ec2 user right if you want to confirm you can check here also you all you need to go to instance click on this and then click on connect here you will get username is ec2 user right so now we have entered in the ec2 user now what we will do aws configure to configure it okay hit enter aws access key so this is the access key i will be putting that okay sorry and then here secret key also i'll be putting right and region so as you can see our lambda is basically created in us is one right so i'll be giving that name only okay output format i don't want to specify that's it now let's see whether we can access the lambda related stuff from ec2 or not so like i can do aws lambda list function if i do okay so here you will see that in this case the only one lambda we are having in our account too that is basically showing here okay so here you can see it is python 3.9 timeout is 3 seconds this is the role this is the handler function okay all these things you can see here right here you can see the function name also which is demo cross account connection api that's what we have given the lambda name right perfect now so now what we can do we can just execute this particular code okay from the ec2 which we have launched in same account where we have created our backend lambda okay and see it is basically executed right and now if i go to my lambda and if i refresh this page i should see the api gateway connections will be added okay so see here api gateway connection is added and now if i make a another send request now we should get the here we are getting error send error lambda function unexpected end of file i think some mistake we have done here okay so here actually curly bracket is there i will remove that and here i will deploy okay so it is deployed now let's test it so see hello from account 2 okay so maybe i can show you something other message hello world if i do and if i deploy so you can see our lambda is basically in account 2 but our api is created in basically where in satodru account that is first account okay right but here integration is established and here whatever our backend lambda it is getting triggered as soon as we are making a get request using the api and it is giving us the response right so i hope you understood how in cross account you can create the setup that is your api gateway in one account your lambda is in another account which is basically treated as your backend okay then how to set up the integration i hope it is clear to you this is all for my this video and obviously don't forget to terminate your ec2 instance because just to use ec2 instance to give or execute the code okay aws cli code that's it nothing else required so don't forget to terminate your ec2 instance after the lab okay anyway lambda and api gateway you can leave because it will only be uh, 
billing once you are using that okay if you are not using it will not be incurring any bill right that's the advantage of serverless system okay so if you enjoyed this particular video then don't forget to like share and comment and if you have not subscribed yet then don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you for watching